Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be talking to you about what you need to know and what certifications you need to get to get into five different careers in cloud computing. Let's go. All right, so the first role is the cloud administrator role. So this role is really the equivalent of sysadmin, but in the cloud. So what you would need for this role is either the Azure 104 cloud administrator or the AWS sysop administrator. So I took the 104 and I have a video in the description if you want to see what the exam is like. The knowledge you would need to have for this role is basic cloud infrastructure knowledge. So we're talking about administering compute, administering storage, administering network, administering identities. So all these are really a translation of the on-premise world into the cloud. So if you know how to manage AD, you will get Azure AAD. If you create virtual machines in VMware, you get creating virtual machines in AWS or Azure. If you create storage, so on and so forth. So they really, this role is really a translation from on-premise to cloud. Now, because of that, that means you also have to have the knowledge that sysadmins have. So that means you need to learn how to manage either a Linux server or a uh, Windows server. That's the extra non-cloud knowledge you need to have to have this role because yes, you will manage cloud and yes, you will deal with cloud, but when you create a virtual machine, you have to administer that virtual machine. You have to run updates. You have to install software. You have to troubleshoot it. So those are the skills that are non-cloud computing related that you have to learn. Now, a bonus thing that you should learn for this role is infrastructure as code. And that's going to be a theme across the board. So infrastructure as code, because you will now start deploying infrastructure and maintaining infrastructure as code. All right. The next role is the cloud developer. So this role is really just a developer role, but in the cloud. So the certifications you're looking at are AZ204. Uh, cloud developer, which I have video in the description. I took this exam too. And uh, the AWS developer certification. So those two are the certifications you would want to validate your knowledge. Um, so the knowledge you need to know is, for example, how to use SDK, software development kits for the cloud providers, because what you will do is now you're going to have to either dynamically generate data in the cloud. So either add a message to a queue or create a blob storage or things like that. So you have to be familiar with the software development kits for those cloud providers on top of your actual programming knowledge of the task at hand. So being familiar with the SDKs and SDKs are going to come up in those exams. I promise you, you will have code completion and things like that. So be familiar with those SDKs because uh, they're really how a developer interacts with the cloud. Other things you will need to be familiar with is uh, messaging. So messaging in the cloud. So service bus, queues, uh, cache, things like that. So how do you create an application that is scalable in the cloud and can handle everything? Another thing you need to familiarize yourself with is platform as a service because cloud native applications use platform as a service. So serverless, uh, such as Lambda functions or Azure functions, you also need to familiarize yourself with things like containers. So Docker and how do you create uh, code that runs on a container, Kubernetes and things like that. So familiarize yourself with cloud native services and how you can create an application in the cloud. And I highly recommend you start developing on your own projects in the cloud. Because cloud native applications are scalable and the cloud is pay as you go, you can easily use all the services in one application and demonstrate that you know how to use the cloud as a software engineer without incurring major cost. Another thing you need to familiarize yourself is CDCI, continuous deployment and continuous uh, integration. And you're going to start writing code. And as soon as you hit commit, then you get a whole workflow of 
all right, this code is approved. Now it gets deployed to the cloud. Then it goes into testing and then it goes into production and so on and so forth. So you need to familiarize yourself. And to do that, you can just use GitHub Actions and for your own code, deploy it automatically. And the non-cloud knowledge you need to have is really programming and Git, which is really basic stuff that a developer needs to know. So do that and you should be good. All right, the third role is DevOps. So DevOps is a mix between Dev and Ops. So you need to know what the knowledge for the Dev side and the knowledge for the Ops side. And I encourage you to go back and look at them if you haven't paid attention. But really it's about managing infrastructure and managing code. And that's what a DevOps does. They manage both as they relate to one another, not like separately. So the infrastructure, the code runs on and the code that runs on the infrastructure. The certification you need for this is really the DevOps certification. It's the same name for both AWS and Azure and same for Google Cloud and Oracle Cloud or whatever you have, they all will be called DevOps. What you need to emphasize on for DevOps is infrastructure as code because now you're managing everything through code. Uh, so you're doing your operation side through software development. Your infrastructure has the same life cycle as your software. If you're in an agile environment and you release new versions of software every week, you also have your infrastructure that is managed through that same release cycle. Now it doesn't always change. Sometimes you make changes and you have to deploy those changes to production. So you have to understand how to deploy resources, how to manage them and how to life cycle them. So it's a very challenging job, but it's a fun one. All right. The fourth one is the cloud architect. Now this is also a very senior level position. Uh, you need to know a lot about everything you, and the word that comes back for every certification is design, design, design. And what that means is that you have to design compute, you have to design databases, you have to design migrations, you have to design identity and all that. And your role as an architect is just that, to design how things go. And it requires knowledge of all the services, compute, whether there be classical VMs to Kubernetes, you have to have a deep knowledge of that whole spread of services. If you have to design a data solution, you have to know from relational storage to uh, file storage to non-relational databases. You have to know the whole spread and you have to know how to connect all of this. Same for identity. How do you control access? How do you control permissions? How do you control logging? How do you audit all that? And it's your role as a architect to implement all this. So you have to show that you are able to design a solution in the cloud from scratch. And so it's a very senior role. So good luck. And lastly, we have the cloud engineer. So cloud engineer is really a, a mix between everything. It's really for companies that don't know what they need. It's the, you need to know some software. You need to know some DevOps. You need to know some architecting. You need to know, some um, administration, you need to know the wide range of cloud. Now it's a breadth, not a depth thing. So you have to be familiar with everything to be a cloud engineer, but you don't have to be an expert in anything. Now, that being said, sometimes, often a cloud engineer is really uh, between an administrator and a DevOps and an architect and less in the development side of the house. So what helps you here is if you have some administrator knowledge and some architect knowledge or some administrator and DevOps knowledge. And really the key word here that you have to have that's not really in the administrator one is infrastructure as code. I get a lot of emails from recruiters 
And one of the common traits of the jobs I'm being pitched is infrastructure as code. So you have to have that knowledge of the dev side of the house and how do you lifecycle through Git, GitHub, and all that stuff, GitLab, whatever you have. So regardless of the role you have, you have to level up your skills to keep up with the pace of how things change in the cloud. And to help you with that, I made a video right here about the five skills you need to not be left behind in cloud computing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.